welcome to one of the most beautiful cities in the whole Tuscany. When I enter, I imagine this uh, Game of Thrones songs. Saying hi from the tower, and we are just about to start our day. Oh my god! First place, the best ice cream in the world. The city is waking up. Oh, gelato! Mmm. Maybe not yet. I cannot decide which <laughs> flavor. So this flavor is only from here with the local wine. So that's the saffron ice cream that's new to me, Malaga. We started trying, talking with the lady, which was super, super sweet. So after breakfast, and we just came to have a cup of ice cream. Both we realized that Italians are the best sellers in the world. <laughs> we just had breakfast and he wants ice cream now. <laughs> mm, this is delicious. I think we, we will have a small one now. <laughs> we will come back. <laughs> I made my decision. I will go for caramel and um, tiramisu. And she said, yeah, yeah, take it, take it. It's on the house. I said, what, what? No, no, we're happy to pay. And she said, no, don't worry. It's on us. No, no, no. Please, please, please. No, no, it's okay. I'm oh. so happy I offer you. Thank you so can much. Can I have a chance? Can I have a chance? Hospitality in Italy is just mind-blowing. It's impressive, actually, that it's such a small town. It's so busy. San Gimignano doesn't stop bringing tourists all day long. So the beauty of traveling is that you never know what to expect. So this time it was exactly like that. We went to this pastry shop and we didn't know what it is about. And we ended up talking with the chef, exchanging contacts, super friendly, super hospitable people. From Naples, the pastiera from Naples, we make on the, the Pasqua. The croissant, oh my God, look at this. Really, really good. The lamination is perfect. Because it's made with the saffron of San Gimignano. Mm -hmm. The cream is a cream of lemon and saffron, and the apple, a crumble of apple. And it is a cream of rice. Based on the reviews and based on what we see here now, it looks like the best place to shop in town. So we're gonna have like a little uh, merienda here, like an afternoon tea uh, with four different cakes. All the pastries, I can tell they're very professionally made. The be be best place so far in Tuscany, mm -hmm. not just in San Gimignano. Yeah. <laughs> and of course, before leaving, we managed to take a quick picture with both chefs. Picture moment. Treasuring memories. Yes, no, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Ciao, ciao. Let's go. So we're just starting our day here in this beautiful, beautiful sunny town. We had like a most beautiful ride and this is just the beginning. It's just hard to explain how beautiful and what a feeling gives this Tuscany area here. You can smell the cork in some streets because then you realize, yes, this is the winery very close. The town does not only smell like a wine, but also like a bakery. It's remarkable to see that old bakeries still deliver pastries for centuries. There is that uh, brown uh, building, no, with the white... Uh... I like everything, I want to take it, but now I'm thinking how can I squeeze everything? Look at this this town is famous because of the scenes so filmed nice. nearby of the Gladiator. However, the region itself is proud to produce pecorino cheese and a lot of it. Okay, podemos hablar en español. Si quieres. Muy bien. Suficiente tiempo en esta ciudad porque uh, hacemos como... In one of the shops we met Paula. Más intenso, probablemente. Mm -hmm. Si. She learned Spanish watching telenovelas, so we switched to Spanish. 
Lituania. Sí. Gracias. Muy gracias. bueno, muy bueno. Vale. Muchísimas gracias. Gracias. <risa> Why do you love spending time in the nature? I think the closest thing to perfection in the world is nature. So it's my source of inspiration, mind clearance, so you come back home with a new energy. We had to come back to San Gimignano to try one more painting thing, award-winning ice cream place. It looked like all tourists of the town decided to come to this place. This gelateria has so many flavors. So this place has won the best gelato in a couple of years, and the queue, as you see here, is really long. But since we're leaving, uh, we will have the last bite of gelato. Everywhere we traveled, we were overwhelmed. We stopped in different towns in Tuscany, and everywhere people were so warm, so welcoming. We had the best time ever. And Tuscany itself as a region is, a, oh my God, it has so much to offer. It looks like we don't need to look for a specific place to have something sweet. Kilograms and kilograms of some sweets. How much time you need to spend to try everything. And it's not only about the wine and cheese, it's about people really. So now I'm taking the moment just to admire this landscape behind me. I just want to sit here and watch it all day, literally. From my perspective, work in the kitchen is super important, but cannot underestimate the power of traveling and getting inspiration, gathering new ideas and knowing other bakers. Every trip is a new page and chance to experience something unknown. Thank you for watching and see you next week.